<laughs> I'm colossal. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you one of our many allies, the Czechoslovakian army, fighting bravely alongside our own lads for final victory. You're now visiting Czechoslovakian soldiers in their new home. You can see how they live, how they like our country. You can observe their sports, their songs, and above all, their wonderful sense of humor. You'll find them proud to display the progress they've made in our language, and you'll find them answering all the questions that are put to them every day, unceasingly. Do you like England? How do you like England? How do you like it here? How are you getting on with your English? How do you like our country? How do you like porridge? Well, boys, come on. You heard what the lady asked you. Speak for yourself. Never mind if your English is not so hot. We'll understand you anyway. Yes, we like you all. We feel quite at home here. That's the spirit, boys. Dig, dig. <laughs> I wish Lord Wilton could see you. We like your beautiful country. Your tune and your song. And your pretty girl. This one has settled down very nicely, seemingly. But he'll have to keep his eyes off the other girls now. Oh well, better luck next time. We like your friendly people. Don't give up, boys. Even if your thumb gets sunburned. Ah, you see there, I told you. Careful now. No more than 13 in one car. You know, it's very unlucky. But we don't like porridge. Oh, well, boys, cheer up. There is a war on. You know, porridge is very good for you. You, too, can become a mother with porridge. Do you like porridge? She likes it. But there are exceptions. Some love porridge. What a passionate porridge eater he must be. I bet he snatches the other soldiers' rations as well, when they're not looking. Ah, uh, they don't have to be forced to eat potatoes. They like them anyway. And they know how to prepare them in 20 different ways. But peeling them, mm, that's not so pleasant. No, it's not magic that does it. This is a mechanized war. Why not mechanize potato peeling? The knack of doing things in an easy way is a characteristic of these soldiers. And they are very often confronted with little difficulties such as these. Do you think it's as easy as it looks to wear caps smartly just at the right angle? Now this one, for instance, has brought it to such perfection that all his pals are green with envy. He has simply sewn a rubber band into his cap. Mm, but the higher military authorities reject this improvement seemingly. Not all Czechoslovakian inventors, however, have met with this fate. Much more appreciation was shown to the inventor of the well-known Bren gun. These machine guns were first made in the Czechoslovak town Brno. So really, it is Brno gun. But maybe that is difficult for you to say. They encountered the same difficulties in the English language. Therefore, they are very busy learning basic English. We have splendid weather. The sun invites us to go for a walk. Don't worry, don't worry. There is always one nice day in August. Now show me, show me how much reading you can do in English. The human head is covered with Hair. <coughs> Sometimes. Women have long hair. Now, that's only an exception. Of course, she couldn't make up her mind what she really wanted to be. In close to women differ from men. 
women wear skirts, men wear trousers. Don't you believe it, my boy. Don't you believe it. Women always wear the trousers in any man's country. Must be an old tradition. Now, each soldier learns according to the method which is most easy for him. This one, for instance, learns through practice. Watch my pronunciation. All right. This is the typewriter, the ashtray, the flowers. And uh, this is a clock. Uh, ask, ask me the clock. What o'clock is it? It is uh, six o'clock. And uh, here's the watch. Ask me the watch. What a watch is it? It is uh, six a watch. Such much watch? Mm -hmm. Time for a drink? Stop. I have a bottle of beer. Oh, fine. And I fetch a glass. Splendid. Hey, 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 there. No, no, no cheating. No cheating. We are all watching you. Can you imagine that? The glass is empty, but the bottle is full. That's what you think. Cheo. My goodness, my goodness! A healthy spirit in a healthy body. Sports and games of all kinds are the best way to keep fit and for keeping up the fighting spirit. Here you see examples of rhythmical exercises to music. This form of exercise is extremely well liked in the Czechoslovakian Republic, and the outstanding representative is the Federation of the Sokols. This handful of English girls constitutes the first branch of this kind of sport. For the time being, there are not many of them, but let's hope that Later on, there will be many more. Maybe as many as that. What a grand sight. Such meetings are arranged every six years by the Sokols. Men, women and children of all ages take part. the last meeting in the three country in free Prague in 1938. But although the Czechoslovakian soldier is grim and determined about his military duties, he's cheerful and happy while at play. Now this is a typical example of what happens in the evenings after the work is done. To a quick victory! Hey, wait a minute, you guys. Don't get carried away with your enthusiasm. What makes you so sure of victory? Oh, my dear invisible friends, I will prove it to you. Uh, do you know who this is? Of course I do. This is good old Willie, the man who tried to hold up the world in 1914. Exactly. And you know who this is? Do I? <laughs> Why, that's the old tiger, Kemalso. He sure made a mess of old Willie, didn't he? But tell me now, what has that all got to do with this present war? Oh, it's quite simple. You know what Shakespeare said. History repeats itself. Ah, that was a Shakespeare. That was an old cow. Oh, never mind. Look! No! Now, do you recognize this gentleman? That's no gentleman. That's Mr. Schickel Gruber. Really, Mr. S. <laughs> I recognize him by his mustache. Look, it looks like a buttonhole on a fur coat. And here's the man who stands between him and the world. from the Czechoslovakian army. Well, caught, chased me and fanny round the Shan horse the nice now. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we say goodbye to these brave Czechoslovakian lads with a thought uppermost in our mind that no matter what happens, their spirit, courage, and determination 
shall never be broken by hitler and his gang although down for the present and subjugated to the tyranny and cruelty of the nazis one thing you can be certain of a free czechoslovakia will rise again